What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday, happy weekend. Grabbing my water, but I just got back from a really good spin class, such a good class. I got a good sweat in, it was like a 9.15 rhythm ride class. Um, just got the shower, my hair is very wet, so I need to blow dry it. Made my bed, I'm doing laundry, I am cleaning, I'm doing dishes, so nothing very fun, but I just figured I would start off this weekend vlog here. If you guys are looking for a new water bottle, Highly recommend the Hydro Flasks. These are the most durable water bottles ever. They keep your water cold, I think for 24 hours and hot for 12 maybe. Um, but I've had this one forever. It has like an indent right here because I literally dropped it outside on the concrete. And it's still good, still works. But I think I'm gonna get a new one eventually because there's like marks all over it and it's looking a little sad. But I also wanna get a smaller one. This one is the 40 ounce because I drink a lot of water, but I'm thinking about getting the 32 because sometimes this is just like, too big when I'm like carrying it around for work like in my purse I feel like it's just really heavy but highly recommend this water bottle and get the straw lid because it will enforce you to drink more water but yeah love this <laughs> And I want to show you guys these leggings. So my friend Maddie recommended these a few months ago and they are literally just like Lululemon lines. I swear like the same quality, the same buttery soft material and they're from Amazon for $25. Like Lululemon lines, they're the best. I still love them, but they are $100 and these are $25. So get yourself a few pair. I will link them. And if you guys want to know which ones they are, I will put my Instagram here so you can message me and I'll send you the link directly if the one in the description doesn't work. But they're literally just like Lululemon Aligns. They still have the high-waisted, they're buttery, they're soft, they have tons of different sizes and colors. I get the extra, extra small because I like my leggings super tight and compressive, but they still I still feel like I have like room to breathe in them. So if you guys are interested, let me know. But I just had to come on here and rave about them because they're literally like the same thing and less than half the price. So little tip for you guys. Okay, so I will show you, but they're literally just as high-waisted as the Lemon Aligns. I got these in the mail and when she told me about them originally, I was like, yeah, okay, we'll see. Then I got them, tried them on, and I was like, whoa, why doesn't everybody know about these? <laughs> I'm super excited to try this. I feel like everybody has been posting about this brand, so I was definitely socially sold, but I've been looking for a really good probiotic, and this one actually doubles as a probiotic and a prebiotic, which is really awesome, but this brand does a ton, a ton of extensive research into their products, and so many people have been raving about this probiotic, so I wanted to give it a shot. It's called Seed, and it's a daily probiotic. You take two a day. Um, probiotic and prebiotic but I will open it up and show you guys I took my first one this morning um, they say the first one that you take just do one capsule for the first three days and then you can move on to two and then also it gets comes with this little cute on the go um, canister so you can take it on the go which I like not sponsored at all, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I like sharing what I'm using, what I'm trying out, and how I'm liking things. So I was looking for a good probiotic for a while because I don't eat dairy, so I don't really eat yogurt. I don't eat kefir. I like kombucha, but I really don't have it a ton because it makes me a little bit bloated. So I felt like I was lacking some probiotics in my diet, so I wanted to get a good supplement, and I obviously wanted to get one that was well-researched and people really liked and saw differences and had proven outcomes, like clinical outcomes. So I've been seeing so many great things about this, and particularly I also wanted it to help digestion, but it helps with a bunch of things. I'll read you guys what the little packet says. I took my first one this, this morning, and all is good so far so far so good it says it helps with gastro health gut barrier integrity gut immune function cardiovascular health micronutrient synthesis so a lot of really great benefits and it comes with this cute little pamphlet so you can read about it but yeah i will keep you guys posted and let you know if i see some improvements and how i'm liking it 
we are about to go get some lunch at the Organic 3 Cafe, my favorite. So good if you guys live in Buffalo. <clears throat> check out O3 Cafe. It's in Williamsville off Main Street in Snyder. It's bomb. They have the best green juices, the best salads, wraps, smoothies. Mm. I'm excited. Saving, so we're a little tired, but we're making it work, right? Right. <laughs> so we're trying out a new studio at 45 that is in our area near us. So we're excited. Gonna go get a good sweat in on this Sunday, beautiful sunny Sunday. Yep. What are your thoughts about this? Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's the weekend. Two days of every week I get to sleep in. Two. There's two of them. <laughs> and both days we've gotten up for workouts. Because it's a beautiful weekend. Don't yeah. you want to get up and no. see the day? <laughs> Clearly I'm a morning person yeah. in this gentleman. All you night owls out there, you feel me. You feel me, night owls. You we are, like the snooze. You are not a morning person. Click the snooze. Oh. See, I'm a morning person. I peak until like four o'clock and then it's like downhill. And you are not a morning person no. at all. No. No. <laughs> Tip, figure out if you're a morning or night person and do those things during those hours because you have the most energy. And <laughs> this one doesn't have a lot of energy right now. You want some espresso? No. Mm -hmm. More for me. <laughs> Anybody else's mood like a thousand times better when it's nice and sunny out. I just pulled into the parking lot of Wegmans and I'm about to go in and grab some groceries for the week. I always do my grocery shopping on Sundays to make sure I am fully stocked for the week for work and I can meal prep and just get things organized. But I'm loving the weather today. So it's like 50, 55 degrees in Buffalo and I'm loving it. It's so nice. I feel like my mood is just so much better when the sun is out. So I'm like really looking forward to spring and summer. Really, really looking forward to that. But I have my reusable bags. I've got my reusable produce bags and I'm about to head in. I'm probably gonna listen to a podcast with my AirPods. <laughs>
big grocery haul coming at you guys. So I got a ton of broccoli. I'm making a chickpea pasta dish tonight, so I'm using a ton of broccoli for that. And then this is also for the week. Some Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. I have blueberries, strawberries, um, cucumbers. I've been loving these mini seedless ones in salads or just like literally eating them by hand. Avocados, some mini ones there. Sweet potatoes, I've been loving roasting these in the air fryer with coconut oil, pink Himalayan salt, and cinnamon, so good. Um, eggs, big egg lovers, so I always get the cage-free large brown organic eggs from Wegmans. Some grape tomatoes for salads, I'm also gonna put that in the pasta dish tonight. My favorite popcorn ever, lesser evil, so amazing, it's literally three ingredients, it's coconut oil, non-GMO popcorn, and then pink Himalayan salt, super good. These grain-free pretzels I have been loving. Some bell peppers, a green and a red. Also some bananas for the morning. I also got some apples. I've been loving having these with peanut butter for afternoon snack. It just like hits the spot, so good. Um, some ground organic turkey, I got two of these. I'm planning on making these and doing like stuffed peppers one day this week with quinoa. I thought that would be really good. And then I got this cereal. So my friend Shannon posted about this and she got the original kind, but I've been wanting to try the cinnamon. But basically it has protein, less sugar, zero grains. It's grain free and the ingredients are pretty good. So I actually opened it in the car and it's pretty good. So just a good crunch. But yeah, this is my grocery haul for the week and I'm about to cook up some dinner. So I'm making a really yummy dinner tonight. It's going to be a chickpea pasta. This chickpea pasta from Wegmans only has one ingredient, organic chickpea flour, so we love this. And then I will probably add some green pea pasta with it too. This is also just one ingredient, organic green pea flour. So I'm gonna mix those two together, add tons and tons of spinach. I'm going to shred some organic chicken from Wegmans, non-GMO. And then I'm also going to add tons of mushrooms in here, these are just like bulk mushrooms. And then tons and tons of broccoli. I'm not, I'm not gonna add all this, this is for the week, but I'm gonna add tons of broccoli and then some tomatoes. So just some grape tomatoes. I'm going to like pan sear it all. And then I think for the dressing or the sauce, I was gonna do a basil pesto. I thought that would be really good, but it's a little bit late and I'm hungry and I know Matthew will be home soon. So I wanna try to whip something up quick, but I'm thinking of just doing like a lemon olive oil type concoction with like tons of spices and some nutritional yeast to make it like a little cheesy. So I'm sauteing a bunch of vegetables. I have spinach, mushroom, broccoli, and tomatoes, and I'm going to saute it with this Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. And then I'm going to put it inside of the pasta. I'm going to do half chickpea penne and then half of the green pea pasta in the pan, and then I will mix it all up with the vegetables. This is what I'm gonna do for the sauce. I'm gonna do a bunch of olive oil, a whole lemon, and maybe another half, and then pink Himalayan salt, some garlic powder, some cracked pepper, and then nutritional yeast. I'm going to add this to make it like a little cheesy, but this is a great substitute for cheese. If you don't want cheese, it's not cheese, but it tastes like cheese, and it has a good source of protein, so love that. We will see how this turns out.
end up adding this homemade rayo sauce. Okay guys, so I'm going to end off this weekend vlog here. If you liked it, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, it really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm uploading new videos weekly. And also tick the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos. I haven't said this before, but YouTube is something that I have wanted to start for a really, really long time. And then like one day I just decided to start it. And I'm really glad I did. But it means the world to me that you guys are watching and giving me recommendations and feedback on my videos and I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!